Hey everyone, Pracy Toe here, your second favorite uni swap ape. So in today's video, I wanted to do something a bit fun, and that is to go through all of the launch pads, or at least most of them, and uh, you know, do a tier list for them. And you know, a lot of people in my community have been asking me, uh, you know, to do a video on the different launch pads. So I thought I'd make it fun and do a sort of a tier list and go through brief info on how the launch pads work and their past performance and you know whether I think it's worthwhile holding their tokens and uh, keep in mind I'm not going to do every single one but I'm doing most of the hyped ones so again keep in mind this is just going to be my opinion I'm sure there's going to be many of you that disagree with some of my choices uh, you know some people are big fans of certain uh, launch uh, pads and uh, this is just going to be based on my opinion and past performances so just keep that in mind you know you probably will disagree with me on some but anyways let's get started so the first one I want to start off with is Binance Launchpad. This one you can't really compare to the others. It's obviously Chost. There's uh, only going to be Binance Launchpad in the Chost tier because it's just so proud. And uh, all of the Binance Launchpads do insanely well. I, and I'll put it here, but for some reason it's covering. But I mean, everything that's uh, launched on there has done insane X, uh, easily over 100X, some 500X. And obviously Binance is the top tier exchange at the moment. So that gets a Chost. And uh, yeah, let's move on to the next one. I'm just going to go through it randomly. So next, DAO Maker. So DAO Maker is one that I think is actually very consistent. The past sales have done really well. Uh, if we have a look at the DAO Maker website, you can actually see here the, the recent ones they had. Uh, you can see uh, DAPI did around 62x all-time high. Happy did around 20x, 19x, 36x, 30x. I mean, uh, they've all really performed well. Obviously, for DAO Maker, you need to hold their token. And another cool uh, picture that was uh, released today. This shows uh, the top 10 uh, launchpad platforms by average uh, ROI. So you can see DAO Maker is around 33x. I don't see too many people speaking about it, but I really think it's a gem. And, uh, you know, <laughs> you can see BSC pad is insane. Ignition has had a few sales, but it's uh, done really well. And, uh, you know... All the others have done decently well. So also my ratings will be kind of based on this for some of them. But Dow Maker, I think, is actually really good. And I will put it in A because I actually honestly believe it deserves A tier. So next up, let's uh, just take this one, Bounce. So as you know, Bounce, uh, anyone can have a pool on Bounce. And those in the past, especially in Uniswap Season 1, were very scammy. Uh, a, a lot of scams happened on Bounce. And... Uh, it was kind of hit or miss, but now they just recently released uh, Bounce Certified. You need to hold a little bit of Bounce token to participate, depends pool to pool. But some of the recent ones have actually been uh, quite good. You can see Antimatter, uh, Umbrella Network, Option Room, uh, DeFi Wizard. I mean, uh, they've had really good ones. The raises haven't been that much for them. But I think uh, Bounce is quite decent. Uh, just because of the introduction of uh, the certified sale, I think it deserves a C. Uh, you know, it would be an F or E if it didn't have the certified section because of all the scams and it's just way too risky. So it deserves a C. So next up, let's uh, take one of the more popular ones. Let's uh, get Duck Starter. So Duck Starter, everyone knows it's uh, you know one of the more popular ones. As you can see, the ROI isn't the best, but it's very consistent and it's a solid platform. The people that run DuckDAO are really great people. And uh, I think it's a well-deserving uh, A. Uh, DuckStarter, in my opinion, you know, even though the ROI isn't as good as DAO Maker, I think it's a really solid one. You know, uh, if we go through DuckStarter, it works on tiers. So they've got really, really good upcoming projects. And for example, if you go in Kryptonova, depending how many tokens you hold, you get bronze, silver, gold, platinum. And uh, based on that, you get the allocation. You can see if you silver 200, platinum 400 allocation. So I think it's well deserving for an A tier. Next up, let's uh, take YFDI. So YFDI just had their first launch pad recently, which was Impulse 7. I think that's how you say Impulse uh, Ven. But anyways, uh, that sale did okay. But then it uh, kind of dumped and uh, you know wasn't too impressive. And I'm not sure what the next uh, plans are for Wi-Fi. I had a look at their website. It's not too pro. So for now, obviously, this is just my opinion for the moment. It gets an E. But, uh, you know, they could release uh, better projects. And this uh, video, obviously, is on uh, recorded 
8th April. So anything can happen as the weeks go on. But for now, get to eat. So next up, let's take Polka Starter. And you know, Polka Starter, I think, is a is a IDO platform that really kicked things off with uh, IDOs. And uh, they still have all the hype. They've managed to maintain it. And they've really managed to be the top standard you know, of IDOs. I give it an S, no doubt about that. Um, as you know, for Polka Starter, you get Pulse Pool and non-Pulse Pool. For the Pulse Pool, you get a higher chance to get in. It's around 10% chance to get in. Uh, as opposed to around 1% chance if you don't hold Polka Sata tokens. And for that, you need to hold 3,000 tokens, which at the moment are worth around $10,000, $12,000. And then uh, you have to stake them, and that's how you get into, uh, you know, well, you have a higher chance to get in. So that definitely gets S here. I mean, if you invest in a private sale and Polka Sata is announced, you're gonna, you know you're going to make mad gains. So next up, uh, let's take BSC Starter. So... BSC Starter is one of the bigger competitors to BSC Pad. Uh, obviously, they launched after BSC Pad, but honestly, they haven't done too well, in my opinion. If we have a look at their website, they have the same requirements, you know, of holding uh, tokens to get in and you get tiers. And what I don't like is some of the pools they've had, as you can see, have not been great projects. It feels like they're just kind of doing any. And for example, King of the Hill, I covered this uh, in a video long ago. They tried to have a sale three times, I believe, and it failed every single time they raised zero. Then they finally got BSE started to agree to list them, and they sold out immediately, obviously because of the hype of uh, BSE started, but King of the Hill is a terrible project, you know. So uh, I think uh, BSE started still have a lot to prove. I think, uh, you know, they're going to have Wall Street Bets, which was the really hyped one that was supposed to be coming up on BSC pad but now they went to BSC starter so we'll see how that does but for now I'm sorry to say it gets a D from me and uh, we can see how that changes but for now I'm not a big fan of that one next up let's go with uh, ignition by paid so this one uh, as you know paid network is uh, was a pre-sale and they did very well and they recently did ignition if we go to their website, uh, the pools they recently had was Deeper, uh, and they're going to have Beyond Finance, they had ARs, Split, Blind Boxes, Shadows, and all of them did really well. As you can see by this uh, infographic, Ignition is really the, uh, high up, uh, second place. Um, but you have to consider that they haven't had that many uh, sales, and you know that the average could eventually go down. Uh, you know, for example, Dr. have had quite a lot of sales, that's why the average is low, you know, everything can't do 70x. <laughs> But I think uh, it's got a lot of promise, um, Ignition. And I'm curious to see how the future is going to play out for it. So honestly, I think it deserves an A uh, for now. So I think, the, you know, the average could come down. But if it stays where it is, I mean, there's no reason I, can, I should put it lower than A. I think that's really what it deserves. Next up, let's take Kickpad. So this one's a bit hard to judge. Uh, it just had uh, their sale first sale actually and that was i think orakuru or something like that and it did around 35x and i believe the process was quite smooth so you know, there's not almost enough info uh to say about kickpad if we uh, go to the website quickly you can see orakuru yeah uh the interface looked quite uh, good but for now, I just have to give it a C because there's not enough info. Even though Orakuru did 35x, but you know, the first sale on these platforms tends to do well, and then the future ones might do cuck. So just to see for now, we'll see how it goes. Next up, let's take Trust Swap. So Trust Swap, uh, let's uh, find the website here. I've got so many tabs open. So Trust Swap uh, has had uh, quite a lot of sales, as you can see here. Uh, yield did really well uh where's some others uh but cash pay did quite cuck to start off with but now it, it pumped so they redeemed themselves on that one but it started off really bad sata also uh is up a lot you can see how much it's the price is currently so i think and actually funny enough uh trust swap is the highest uh market cap i believe out of uh, these tokens or one of the highest but that's also because they have other uh, pro products but i give it a b just because uh you know i don't believe the, the sales they've had on their platform are really top top tier as you can see from these ones you know 
the top tier sales are on Polka Star. You know, they got Polka Dex coming up. They got some really big names. So for now, it gets a B. I think that's a fair rating. Next up, let's take Samurai. So Samurai is a CyberFi launch pad. They've had Stator, which uh, you saw on um, the Trustwalk website, did really well. And they had Artex, which you can see the price, I think at the peak, at around 20x, I believe. It shows the other all-time high was 6. It looks like a 6. So it's hard to tell for Samurai at the moment. I'm curious to see how it's going to play out, but see from me. Next up, Mantradao Zendit. So let's go straight to the website and see the previous sales they've had. They've had quite solid ones. They had Labs, Leprechaun, uh, Polka Foundry, Finminity. And uh, what I've heard is that the interface is terrible and it was it's a really a nightmare to go through uh, their site. And uh, for them, you also have to hold their tokens and stake. But uh, their sales have been decent. But from my side, it gets a D because of those uh, that information I heard about of how terrible the actual experience of it is. So then next up, let's go to Zero Swap. So Zero Swap is uh, you know, the Zedo uh, launchpad from Zero Swap website. And you can see the recent sales they had. Um, Unmarshall was a really good one, same as Odds. Rage Fan did really well, did about 20x. Uh, WorkQuest did okay. And uh, Equalizer is one that's open at the moment. Also for them, you need to hold their tokens. So I will have to give it as well a C. Then next up, BSC Pad. So BSC Pad is number one on this list of returns. And it was the first uh, you know, launch pad IDO on the BSC uh, network, which is the you know the Binance smart chain, and it's really done well. They've maintained the hype. The past few projects have all done insanely well, which you can tell by the ROI. Yeah, <laughs> average seventy x. It's just unbelievable. And I put it up with Polkasata because you kind of uh, Polkasata actually just recently announced they're going to have the BSC side as well. So they're going to do both well dual IDO BSC and on ELC20 network and obviously BSC pad is just BSC but I really think BSC pad has that first mover advantage and they've really done well to maintain the hype and bring on quality projects so I think BSC pad deserves that S tier. Next up is pools uh, if we go to the website obviously for them also you have to hold their token in terms of their recent sales uh, completed ones they have deeper network, rage fan, cook finance, leprechaun, merch style uh, I think this, oh, you can actually, Labs, Happy, um, Playcent, oh, this is a bit glitchy. What am I doing wrong? <laughs> Bot Ocean. Uh, okay. So, an upcoming IDO is Raise Network, uh, Yellow Road. So, I think uh, they do have decent ones, but they did have a bit of a hiccup a while ago with a Defi Insure. I'm not sure if anyone remembers that, but Defi Insure uh turned out to be a scam and they were going to have a pool for them until they found out okay it's a scam and had to remove it so you know put me off a bit on pools but you know it was really hype but in terms of the hype you know it's not all there in my opinion but i still think it deserves a c um they've had some quality sales and the, the sales they have coming up are quite good it's still a kind of go-to launch pad so overall this is my tier ratings and i just you know did this you know on whim so i'm quite happy with these ratings uh, at the moment there's no f tier uh <laughs> i didn't like i said i didn't do every single launch pad i'm sure there's some f tiers out there but that's not even worth including in the video uh, i'm actually surprised there's only one b tier but i think that's uh, quite fair you know I'm just looking over this to review it and see if i'm happy with it but i really think uh my opinion this is accurate i don't know if you guys agree with it uh, if you have any suggestions, you know, what uh, should be changed, leave it in, in the comments. I'm curious to see what you guys think and uh, if you agree with my ratings. And uh, yeah, that wraps up my video on the launch pads. Hopefully you found it entertaining and maybe learned something. And as usual, leave a like, uh, subscribe if you enjoyed the video. And I'll see you guys next time. Thanks for watching.